Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to introduce you to one of the useful tools for software testers that is Xmind tool. So what exactly is this Xmind tool and what is its purpose? Let me explain. So first of all, Xmind tool is nothing but a mind mapping tool. As the name says mind mapping, you have to map your mind you can map your mind to this tool for generating the ideas okay so by mapping your mind with this xmind tool you can generate ideas in a easier and better way let me show you anyhow i am going to demonstrate how to use xmind tool for mapping your mind to this tool for generating the ideas by brainstorming let me explain practically at later point of time in this session itself so the purpose you understood, right? Uh, the purpose is to brainstorm, brainstorm to generate ideas by mapping your mind to this tool. Fine. So, but how this Xmind tool can help software testers? Yes, guys, this Xmind tool can help the software testers when you create the test cases, when you are in the process of creating the test cases or when you are in the process of creating the test plans and any other documents that we generally create as testers right in all the cases xmind tool is very beneficial okay i'm going to demonstrate guys practically how to download this xmind tool how to install this uh, xmind tool and how to use this xmind tool and uh, get benefited while creating the test cases as software testers okay everything i am going to show you fine so first thing we can do is like uh, we'll download this xmind tool to get started so how to download so go to any website and google search for xmind simple google search for xmind guys when you google search for xmind you will get this uh, okay uh, link xmind mind mapping software click on this and when you go to the website of this xmind.net here somewhere here you see there's an option like uh, free download right click on this free download and you see the exe file is getting downloaded we need to wait uh, until this uh, exe file is downloaded so once the exe file of this xmind tool is downloaded uh, let's go to the place where it got downloaded you see guys this is a place it got downloaded this is uh, how the icon looks like the latest uh, software icon so now click on this uh, exe file so when i click on the exe file the installation should start in a while I clicked on it already. I got a pop up uh, saying uh, whether you want to allow or not. I'm just selecting yes. You see the installation started. Very basic steps for installation, guys. Uh, you don't have to worry much about the installation. Okay, so very basic steps. So should get another dialogue. Yeah, it got installed guys, that's it, okay? The installation is done. So it has launched also by itself. Once the installation is done, automatically it got launched. Either way, you can go to this, uh, okay? And uh, select this option from your system to launch. If it doesn't launch, if it doesn't launch, okay? So here, what's new? So somehow it, uh, like uh, they have added some new feature, it seems, so this kind of dialogue is coming. So simply say continue for now. And here, li end user license agreement. Uh, read that and say agree and now it's asking you to sign in but you don't have to sign in guys it's not compulsory for you to sign in there's an option like skip here you can select the skip done that's it you see the xmind has launched the xmind has launched here and it's asking you to create a new mind map okay if you want to create a new mind map you can select this new and then so whatever the template you like here so I prefer this red and uh, gray color kind of thing. Okay, there are different several templates here. As you can see, I'll go with this uh, snow brush kind of template that is being shown on the screen. Tomorrow the software may change guys. Uh, I'm just explaining with the current version of the software. Okay, so but uh, basic idea will be same no matter whether the software changes or not. So get started, just skip done. So this is a default template we got, I mean, I just selected this template, right? Snow brush kind of template in the beginning. So this uh, this is a default mind map that came. I didn't create this, okay? It uh, came by default. 
I'll select one of this uh, main topic one and uh, press delete button on my keyboard. Again, main topic two also I'm deleting. I'm just pressing delete buttons, okay, on my keyboard to delete. So only the central topic is remaining. Now, let me show you what exactly is mind map first, okay? Before applying this mind map for our test case creation, let me explain the basic concept of mind map, okay? So here we installed the XMind software and uh, I already explained XMind software is a mind mapping tool, okay? Where you can map your mind to this tool for brainstorming with an intention of generating the ideas, right? That's the main purpose. So here, once you install this mind map and uh, select a template and uh, have this kind of thing in place. Now, let's say, uh, let's take some real time problem guys, before going to the test, uh, test cases and all those stuff, let's take a real time problem. Let's say I want to arrange a birthday party, okay? So what I can do is uh, I will get this uh, topic named as birthday, okay? Birthday party. So how I want to do it? So for that, I need to generate some ideas, right? I need to select this uh, central topic and press tab key on my keyboard, T-A-B, tab key on my keyboard. When you press tab key by selecting this central, okay, option, you see, you will get this subtopic. Okay, just select this birthday party and press tab key like this, you'll get the topics. So let me first uh, do it from beginning, select this and press tab key on your, on your keyboard, you will get this topic. So here I'll write, uh, so what I will do is uh, I need to book a, uh, let's say I, I want to book a banquet hall or something, okay? Banquet hall. For doing this party, I need a banquet hall, fine? So so what, what I need to find about this banquet hall, I need to find out the price, price of the banquet hall, okay? Whether it is available or not on my birthday. And uh, okay, what is the size of this banquet hall? You see a lot of ideas are coming when you are, Okay, this ideas, uh, this price available size may not come when you sit aside on a single place and then think about, right? When you put it on a paper or this kind of XMind uh, mind mapping tool, you will get more ideas. That's how the XMind is, guys, okay? So you'll get a lot of ideas here, okay? Whether it is an AC banquet hall or non-AC thing, okay? AC or not. And uh, uh, like, uh, like uh, do, do they serve food or not? Okay, so a lot of ideas you will keep on getting from, okay, when you use this uh, XMind. These are the ideas. You are brainstorming using this XMind mind mapping tool to generate these ideas, whatever you are seeing now. If you want to minimize this, you can minimize. Now go with that. If you don't want, again, select the central part and press tab here. There's another way, guys. You select the existing item and press enter key. Okay, here when you select this and press enter key, a sibling node will be created. If you want to create a child node, Select this and press tab, you'll get the child node. But if you want to get the nodes at the same level, this uh, module set at the same level, then you have to keep on pressing enter like this. When you keep on pressing the enter, you'll get this kind of thing. When you select any of this uh, item and then press tab, you see the child tab will create the child nodes and uh, whereas enter will create the, enter will create the sibling nodes. Fine, hope you understood. Now, apart from the banquet hall, I want to, like it's a birthday party, right? Uh, so I want to have, go with the decoration, okay? I want to like, uh, uh, I want, what do you want as part of the decoration? I want to have some balloons, I uh, like, uh, so um, any other things, uh, balloons and stage decoration should be there, okay? Uh, we have birthday banner. Like this, decoration ideas you can generate, whatever the ideas you get. And apart from decoration, so you want to conduct some events, okay? Some events like uh, uh, like magic show or whatever it is, okay? This ideas, okay? Magic show and uh, whom you want to invite. Like this, a lot of ideas. Each and every uh, item, you can generate a lot of ideas here. Magic show, like, uh, okay? Nail painting. So a lot of things, okay? You can get a lot of ideas here. So invite, you want to invite whom, okay? So list will be very huge guys list of uh, guests that you want to in invite you can write down the names also okay i want to invite arun i want to uh, invite varun okay i want to invite tarun like this you can name any man any number of names you can write down here you can minimize if you want if you see it as becoming big right you can keep on minimizing then you can think about food what food uh, you want to okay arrange so maybe cupcakes 
uh, some chocolates okay so yeah like uh, general food some bakery items or maybe okay bakery items and so on like this you can use this mind map tool for any purpose guys not only for testing but also for general day-to-day -day things also like uh, arranging this birthday party a lot of it items will come guys okay so you can while well, while doing it only you'll get a lot of ideas okay in invitation card if you want to print invitation card okay you can write on so like this when you're working on this uh birthday party thing in this uh, xmind tool you will keep on getting a lot of ideas like this okay so you can you can actually represent uh, each and every idea that your brain is kind of mapping to this tool and then represent and finally take action to get it implemented right so this is what uh, are the basics of this uh, xmind okay xmind tool so here uh, there are uh, okay once once you create a lot of ideas right like this you see this doesn't look very good you see on the right side we have three items on the left side we have on, uh, a very big list of items i want to uh, organize in a proper way for that select this birthday party thing here and uh, you have the format option here click on the format option when you click on the format option you, you get the structure here you see a lot of structures are coming here right so if you select this structure it will be like this i don't want this structure this is not suitable for this purpose so i want to go with uh, you see uh, equally organizing on both sides this structure will be good initially it was this structure guys this structure also left side more items right side less items were there i want to balance left and right for that uh, this option i have to select you see now the things are good right they are better like this guys like this you can use and uh, if you if you don't like this white background you want to go with a different background Let's say I'll go with a different background like uh, this or may make it uh, more darker. Yeah, this is fine. This looks very uh, like I can, it's readability wise, it's good. I can change the background color. So here lines are there, right? Uh, birthday party is connecting with many items. Uh, the connecting lines are there in black color. So if you want to uh, make them multicolor, you can select this option. You see multicolor scheme, tapered lines. You want to go with the dark, uh, I mean, border lines or uh, normal lines okay you can go with this i am good with this so like this guys a lot of options are there okay and this thing you can export at the end you can export a file export okay export uh, as an image or okay or you can uh, save also if you want to if you don't want to export as an image uh, you can save also okay fine this is this is all uh, basics of the mind mapping tool guys now let me show you how testers can use this uh, mind mapping tool okay i'll close this and uh, i will uh, open the xmind tool again freshly this time i am going to explain how you can use xmind tool for uh, uh, as a as a tester guys okay uh, day to day tester need to create some test cases test plans and so on right so uh, one example i will take that is uh, test cases okay when you are creating test cases right we generally brainstorm in generating the ideas then convert that ideas into the test cases right so how you can use mind map tool for generating the ideas while creating the test cases and what are the advantages of doing so everything i am going to explain now okay so the first thing is like i'll i'll select uh, one template uh, maybe snowbrush is already done right i'll go with the classic template this time so select this classic template and say create so it will launch again okay with the selected template you, you got the template and i'll remove the unnecessary okay default items and central topic is only there let's i want to create the test cases for this application like uh, there is a demo application here tutorialsninja.com slash demo i want to create the test cases for this so before i start creating the drafting the test cases uh, in a excel file or any test management tools so what i can do is i can simply use this uh, xmind tool here for generating the ideas brainstorming and generating the ideas so for that uh, let's say uh, after looking at this uh, application demo application uh, that i need to create the test cases for here i will say what is the application here the application name is tutorials ninja right i will write central topics as uh, tutorials tutorials ninja test cases like the central topic i will create now from this uh, central topic i have to generate the ideas so before I create the individual test cases, uh, I need to segregate the test cases, right? Modular wise or something, okay? Functionality wise. So I want to uh, categorize this application into several areas, like uh, let's say login and registration. So login is one area, registration functionality. Then what, what else we have? 
login, registration, then the search functionality is there here, as you can see, search. As already explained, I will take this format initially itself so that uh, you can see the difference. Select this option. So you see, they will be arranged properly. Login, registration, search, press enter. You see, you only two buttons you have to press. From central topic, if you want to create a child topic, press tab key. Uh, and if you want to uh, select the, I mean, create the topics at the same level, you have to select this and press enter key. It, it will create the sibling nodes, sibling nodes, okay? So after search functionality, we have header options. Here you, on the top, you see there are header options, right? So header options. Like this, uh, the application will be very big guys, okay? So you need to create all the functionalities available in the application in the first phase. So, uh, before generating the ideas for each and every functionality here, let's first create the high level structure using this mind map. Header options is done, then we have this footer options. So I'll go with the footer options, footer options. Then we have this uh, menu options, okay? Menus are there, menu options. And uh, after the menu options, we have this uh, product display pages, okay? This is a, this is a product display page this kind of product uh, product display pages. So like this, menu options, uh, sorry. Press enter guys, not tab. So here, product display page. So there are several options in this product display page, that's fine. And and other, lot of options, right? Uh, if you keep on uh, like uh, writing down this functionalities of this application, right? It will take a lot of time, okay? So I'm not uh, I'm not writing the entire uh, functionality. I'm not going to represent the entire functionality of this application using this mind map for now. Uh, some example functionalities have written here, right? Login, registration, search, header options, footer options, menu options, product display page, like that. Example functionalities. So several other options. I'll simply say several other functionalities can be represented, right? Now, if you take one of the thing like. Uh, login okay so before actually drafting the uh, ideas for each and every functionality here test case ideas for each and every functionality here generally in um, real time guys uh, when you okay uh, what you can do is like uh, you can create this kind of high level structure mind map having representing the functionalities that you want to create the test cases for and uh, share this with your uh, point of contact who need to review this uh, okay uh, review this process review the test cases or something, okay? So your, uh, your clients, client or uh, point of contact who need to review your test cases, right? For them, you will create this kind of high level functionality structure and share with them. And uh, they need to uh, confirm whether uh, you included everything or not, okay? Which are, uh, which are there in the scope. Scope, uh, sometimes we don't have everything in scope, right? So you should only mention something that are there in the scope. So once you, share this kind of high level mind map having these functionalities to your uh, client or point of contact they will review and they will review and let you know whether uh, you are on the right track or not so this will save a lot of time if you are directly writing everything into the test case document and then sharing right a uh, lot of energy may be wasted because you may end up working on some functionalities which are out of scope or which are not required or something or sometimes what happens is you may be missing okay you may be missing documentation of some functionalities in your test cases. So client may point out that, right? So there are a lot of time may be wasted. A lot of time may be wasted. Rather, uh, just create this high level mind map with some high level functionalities like this, which need to be included in your test cases and uh, get it reviewed by your uh, client or POC and it will be very easy to collaborate, right? So, and represent in this manner rather than in a poor doc, uh, an Excel file or any other tool, right? This will be better. So once uh, you got an approval or, uh, okay, okay, once you got an approval from your client or POC that these functionalities that you included are on the track, then what you can do is you can start creating the uh, test cases by generating the ideas for this uh, one by one functionality. Let's take an example of login. So if you go to this login functionality and how you can use uh, Xmind tool for generating the ideas here, for login, there are several test cases. If you can see one test case is like, uh, Login with the uh, valid credentials. Then next one is login with the uh, invalid credentials. Login without providing credentials. 
okay login without providing credentials and so on guys lot of functionalities you'll get okay if you keep on uh, these are the ideas guys you are generating the ideas here by looking at this functionality by using this x mind mind mapping tool you are generating the ideas in creating the test cases for this login functionality now here next thing uh, is like uh, while you are brainstorming here uh, you may think of uh, okay uh, for some forgot scenario forgot password okay forgot password related scenario uh, test case or you can think about uh, you can think about uh, what you can say like maybe sql injection okay possibility of uh, possibility of sql injection for uh, bypassing the login by bypassing the login as hacker or something okay as hacker so you are you are doing some ethical hacking kind of thing like uh, you are doing some security testing where uh, uh, you are just checking whether okay you can bypass this login functionality without with invalid credentials also you may have to you can log in if you can use this sql injection and if this application is not secure in this login area you can simply log in right so such kind of uh, uh, basic to advanced ideas you can generate here in this mind mapping tool okay now you can share this uh, generated ideas for this login functionality to your client and uh, your client may have more ideas than you he may uh, while reviewing it, uh, he or she may give you the ideas or uh, okay or if there is something going wrong right they can mention so before actually writing the before actually creating the finalized test case document if you can work on this kind of thing and get it reviewed properly by your uh, poc or client right it will save lot of time and uh, and you will not miss any ideas okay you will not miss any test cases so it uh, it will save lot of time because when you when you start writing in the test cases format in an excel file or any test management tool right you need to insert something in between the test cases and all those stuff here it's very easy guys for example if you are working on registration some ideas you are mentioning suddenly uh, you got an idea like okay i got some i missed something in the login then you can simply write it here okay you see how flexible it is you cannot do this in uh, excel file you can do this but it will uh, take a lot of efforts you have to go to that particular functionality again insert some row in between okay so it will uh, take a lot of energy but here it is very flexible suppose this idea you need to move to here you can move it you see how well you can organize this is not so easy in uh, general uh, excel files or something else okay so like this lot of advantages are uh, there if you use this kind of uh, x mind mind mapping tool for brainstorming the ideas while creating the test cases for uh, application or test plans or any other things for your day to day testing needs so hope guys you understood uh, how to use uh, x mind mind mapping tool as a software tester fine so this is all about the x mind mind mapping tool so that's it guys thank you bye